Hello everyone, welcome to a new video of American Truck Simulator. And today we are taking a look at the 2016 Bluebird All-American Flat-Nosed School Bus Mod that is available on all of the ATS mod sites. Been wanting to showcase this one for a while. I actually forgot I had it and then I was looking through my mods and I found it again and it still works in 1.50. So I'm super excited about that, taking a look at the back here. Uh, for some reason, the red emergency lights for like your uh, stop sign when the doors are open and all that uh, turns on with the tail lights. Same thing in the front. So it's basically like a, a front brake light kind of sort of thing. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, but the doors don't open. The stop sign doesn't come out. And I'm kind of very surprised that the ambers don't flash. Uh, when you hit the O button, kind of like strobe lights for the trucks. Very surprised that that doesn't flash, but it does not. So, let's go ahead and start this puppy up. And then we will go ahead and show our route and the interior. So here is a look at the interior, and I gotta say, it does look very, very nice. I will say that. Very cool looking. I love the blue lighting, or the blue dials. We got a whole bunch of mirrors, as you guys can see. We even have a mirror showcasing the back. As you can see, we can look back there as well. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool standard bus mod. I really, really wish the doors would open, but unfortunately, they do not. I'm going to have to adjust my mirrors here, and then we will go ahead and take a look at the route we're taking. Alrighty, so currently we are in Medford, Oregon, I believe, and we are going to be heading south. So we're going to go through Hilt, come up to Redding, because uh, part of this we have explored, and part of it we have not. So as you guys can see, we're at 39.1% explored of the map. So this will help us get some more explored. So we're going to come, like I said, down into Redding, take the 273 and 299 all the way down to Eureka. And then from Eureka South, the 101, we have not explored to Los Angeles, I believe, or no, Santa Maria. So we're going to be taking the 101 down to Santa Maria, going through uh, Eureka, UK, San Francisco. Possibly finally explore San Jose and then take that down to Santa Maria. And depending on how much time we have left, take the Route 1 all the way back up to San Francisco. So depending on how much time we'll do that, but we're pretty much just going to go down the 101 to Santa Maria. Let's go ahead and release the parking brake. Put our throttle into forward, and let's get on the open road here. Only downfall with this bus is that there is no GPS display for the um, interior. So there wasn't really much customization options available. So we're going to have to use the HUD map, which is all right with me. All righty. Before we actually get on the open road here, Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Looks like I went the wrong way already. Gotta love it. But I'm pretty sure we have explored uh, Medford already. If I remember correctly, I think we have. At least some parts we have. You really wouldn't think a school bus would be out here in the uh, industrial district, but uh, here we are. Now this is uh, supposedly, I think it's an X school bus since there is no actual school district or anything on the side. So I think it's just an X school bus. Nice neighborhood right here, man. Pick up some kids. Oh, they got stop signs too. It's a four way. All right. This bus does have some get up and go. Got a lot of dirt over there. New construction, Leonard. All right, and take a left here at the light. All right, got our green light finally. Gonna get up behind this explorer here. 
This bus does get up to speed very fast, and I'm a fan. Oh, we got a train coming through. That oh, was a nice short one, thankfully. Get a nice sound of that Jake break here in the city. But Adrian, you're not supposed to have Jake breaks in the city. I don't care. I don't care. I would much rather have a truck Jake break in front of my house then lose its air and not have any brakes and the next thing you know the truck is inside my house Ooh, come on man nice turn signal oh okay he had his turn signal it's like we're making a left out of here Hopefully you guys are having a good Monday. Now back to work for a lot of us. Luckily school is still out. I miss those days where you would get the summer off. I thought, you know, with high school you get the summer off, you get Christmas break off, you know, Thanksgiving, spring break, all that. I, that's the one thing I miss about school is getting all of that time off. Now when you work, you basically work those days, you're on call those days, or you're off those days. There's no in-between. There is no in-between. If I can go back to school, I would definitely just go back for the breaks. That, <laughs> that is it. And the free lunches. The free lunches would work too. Oh, well, looks like we got some construction going on over there. But speaking of school, we went to... Lauren's 10th year high school reunion on Saturday and let me tell you we were in the parking lot waiting for one of her friends and uh, her husband because we got there a little late but so did they and she w we were out in the parking lot and she was kind of pointing out like who people were like oh yeah that's so and so that's so and so I'm like okay cool so we get in there into the little uh, sports bar that the event was being held at and nobody and I mean nobody came up and talked to her talked to her or the friends that we were with literally so in the room we were in it was like a little party room at this uh, sports bar we're gonna set the cruise to 61 here but it was a party room at a sports bar and so there was three sets of tables. There was a table behind us. We were in the middle, and there was a table in the front. We didn't mean to be in the middle. We were just kind of there. And I'm not going to the way station. Thank you, Jesus. I was about to say, I'm not hauling a trailer. I'm just a bus here. But we were in the middle table. And there was a group, you know, at the table in front of us. There was a group in the table behind us. Nobody. I mean, nobody came, talked to her, said hello, you know. Tried to see how she was doing or how we were doing anything. And then more people would be coming in. They would go to that f table in front of us and then the table behind us. And just kind of walk past us like we weren't even there. And I'm just like, man... I get it, you know, high school, if you weren't friends in high school, you know, I get it, why would we talk to you, blah, 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 but you would think that within 10 years, people would mature inspection, all vehicles must stop, no, 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 we're a school bus, we don't have to stop. But I mean, you would think that in 10 years, people would mature and, you know, at least say hi to someone you went to school with basically all your life. Even though you guys weren't, you know, best friends or friends in high school, grade school, whatever. But I guess that's not the case. I guess that is not the case. Now we might need an inspection because this bus does not want to get up to speed here. We are struggling big time. All vehicles prepare to stop half mile. Burger King box truck. But yeah, it was just, I, I didn't understand it. I know when she was in high school, she told me she was part of a group called the Misfits. 
but you mean you would think that you went to school with them all your life. You would more than likely, you know, say hi at least or how you doing or something like that. Nope, that did not happen. We've got a long line of trucks here. So this is what, those agricultural inspections that we have to go through? Is that what this is? California Republic. Okay, that makes sense. It's California. It's a California thing. And it's kind of, um, two of our other friends did not go that were supposed to go. One decided, or one had a, uh, other plans. One just didn't want to straight up go in general. And one flight got canceled because of the whole Microsoft uh, outage they had a few days ago as well. So his flight to back to the area, because he lives in another state now, got canceled because of it. To start, press and stop. We good to go? We supposed to stop the engine? No? Ah, whatever. We got a green light. We're just going to go through it. Not too worried about it. Looks like they had to unload that trailer for some reason. I think we passed. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to assume that we passed. So we have to go 60 or 55. So we're going to go 61. Just because California is California. But man, this is uh, one thing that is on my bucket list. Is transforming an old bus. And I'm meaning like a school bus, a city bus, whatever, into a RV. That is one thing that is on my bucket list uh, in life. Driving a little wonky there. Yes, we are. South Weed Boulevard. So I believe this portion and we have kind of explored. Because I noticed like some parts were not and some parts were. So I don't know like what, like on the other side, everything's explored, but on this side, it was kind of like some was yellow, some was gray. So I'm not too sure what was explored, what was not. And I knew we had to go down to 101 again because that was completely not explored. So I figured, you know, let's just do that because it'll definitely get that us possibly into 40% explored. And then, yeah, so right now we're on the five. And I think once we get up here, we'll be going south. Redding, yep. Well, I mean, I think we're heading south right now, honestly. Looks like we got half a tank of fuel. We might stop for some fuel here soon. It's only 12.52 in the afternoon, so we got a long day ahead of us of driving here. Look at the mountains in the background. Another part of the reason is because of the California rework, and I wanted to showcase that. I think they're on, like, phase three that has been released, and we have not been to California in a while as well. So that's another reason why I'm like, you know what? Let's just hop in here and take a look at old California. It's been a minute since we've actually been driving in California, if I remember correctly. It has been a while. And I've always been a fan of these uh, flat-nosed school buses. I've always liked these more than I like the other ones where it has, like, the engine compartment sticking out. I don't know. I think these are just more of a nice, clean look, in my opinion. Reading, next four exits as we get into some traffic here. 
Eureka Alteras, next exit. I think we're getting off. Yes, we are, actually. Look at those uh, gauges. They're all white. From the light, probably. Lake Boulevard, Reading City Limits. Exit 680. Think we're coming up to a stoplight that is red. Think we are good to go. Those cars are still way back there, so we'll be okay. Taking a left at the next light, looks like, or the next intersection. Your home sold guaranteed. That'd be cool though if like instead of having garages or along with the garages we can actually have like our own property for ourselves. I mean I know you can purchase like different map mods and whatnot where you can have your own property. But I feel like it'd be cool if you had like your own house. So it's kind of like you're a day in the life of a truck driver. Drive from your house to the garage, whatever. Look at Redding. So we have not explored this area yet. And if we have, it might have been from the previous California map. And the new one, we have not. Look at that. In-N-Out Burger. Signal ahead. Looks like the signal is a green, so we're going to proceed. Nope, we're going to go. We're going to go. I love that longer uh, yellow light. Look at Supercuts. I haven't seen that in the game yet. I go to sports clips for my haircuts, but recently Lauren's been doing them. So I haven't had to been paying anything for my haircuts. It's like it's a 30 mile an hour zone. So while we're on the topic of buses here, I have um, a collection of die-cast vehicles. Now, a lot of it's Crown Vicks and stuff because that's one of my all-time favorite cars. But I do have some bus die-cast models. And I'm currently, currently have two of the CTA flexible uh, models that were very hard to find, but I had to find them on eBay. And then one CTA New Flyer Excelisor, I believe how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But I have one of those as well in my collection. I got a couple CTA, like those couple CTA buses. Uh, I'll go ahead and pick this up when the light turns green. Looks like a water main break up ahead over there. But recently I found one of the TMC RTS buses. Yep, water main break. Look at that. That water's shooting out, man. And I found one of the Proterra buses that are in die-cast form as well. So it's got that new CTA paint scheme for the electric buses. That's like the all blue. And I have that new flyer I have is in that scheme. And then the Proterra is in that scheme. And I plan on purchasing those here soon as well just to add to my collection. Um, because... Those were my all-time favorite buses growing up were the flexible CTA flexible and the CTA RTS buses. So that is why I want to pick those up for my uh, diecast collection. And so we can start going faster here. Whiskey Town. I want to go to Whiskey Town. I love me some whiskey. Woo! Bussy, bro. Almost went head on with him. He was in my lane. I get there was, you know, construction going on. But damn, bro, you could have waited at least. Got a lot of curves going down here. I think we're on the 101. I'm not sure. I don't think so, though. Yeah, we might be. All right. Slower traffic. Keep right. We'll do just that. Someone, I was about to say, I think someone's broken down. But nope, there's a car accident. 
but yet slower traffic needs to keep right. That'd have been bad. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not much traffic. Ooh, 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 we just, ooh, we hit something. We're good, we saved it. Right lane ends. Doesn't look like we're turning, had a little bit of a lag spike there. And now we're getting into the traffic. I mean, look at the scenery here, though. We're coming in through California. This looks beautiful. I think we're coming through Eureka. Yeah, this looks absolutely beautiful. Can't go that way, but looks nice that way. I'd much rather go that way. Uh, I don't know. I think we'll stick with this way. But I mean, look at the beautifulness of this area. I am a fan. I am seriously a fan. Douglas City. Steiner Flat Road. Couldn't even see your blinker. Trinity Highway. So this has to be the 101. It, must, it just has to be. Our fuel tank is still showing half on the dash. So it must be broken on the dash. All right, well, we explored the rest area. That's all that matters. So yeah, our fuel tank has to be broken on the dash, but it still shows we're a little bit higher than a quarter tank. So I think we'll be golden. I don't think we're going to be heading back up the one, in my opinion. So here we are in Weaverville. Yeah, depending on how long this takes, right turn, quarter mile. I don't, yeah, I don't think we'll be going through back up north on the one. But this looks beautiful. Look at this town, look at this little city, town, whatever it's called. This is Weaverville. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is nice. Look at that. It's like a library or something. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Willow Creek 20, Eureka 79. Okay, so right now we are on the 299. We're not even on the 101 freeway yet. So we are still on the 299. A lot of twists and curves down this road. Kind of wish I took this with a semi. The little bit of a lag spike there, but yeah, I really wish I took this with a semi. I don't know. I like curvy roads. Driving curvy roads with an 18-wheeler. I, I don't know why. I just do. Like it's starting to get dark outside. The lights don't illuminate, it seems like. National Forest. Six something. Six Anglers National Forest? Radar enforced. Oh boy. 35. Zone ahead. So this is Willow Lake, right? Willow Creek. Uh, 35, 33, 32. Your speed. CHP just... I was about to say, bro. You're just gonna... Really cut out, cut me off like that? Really? Look at that cabin. That is cool. Look at that building. I thought it was a cabin, but it's actually like a building. That is cool. I know we have not explored any of this yet. So this is the Trinity Highway. 299. Looks like we do have a viewpoint up ahead. I might just make this into a two-parter, honestly. Right lane end. So I think we'll hit Eureka, and then we'll make this into like a two or three-part video. Watch for stop traffic. All right, so we got a 
vista point right here. Wait for that express to go through. We'll look at the viewpoint and then we'll make our way to Eureka. And then I think we'll take a, a siesta in Eureka and then we'll continue on in a, another episode. So this might be a two or three part episode with this school bus. Well, those were some nice views. Let's go ahead and start up our bus here once again and continue our way to Eureka. All right, I'm gonna make a left turn. So, like I say, I don't like to get too political on this channel. And I know recently we've had a couple uh, of various political discussions in ATS. And I did want to apologize for that. I know, like I keep saying, I don't want this to be a political channel. I, uh, I want this to be a place where we can all hang out, relax, play some games, drive some trucks, play as a cop, you know, own a grocery store, etc. Have some fun, play some horror games, get scared, have some laughs, all of that good stuff. I don't want this to be a political channel and I only literally have one topic left to talk about before probably won't have to deal with anything unless something tragic or major happens until the election in November. So if you guys did not hear, uh, Biden has actually uh, dropped out of the presidential race, which in my opinion, I think is a good thing. I'm not a Biden supporter, never was, don't think I ever will be, but I do think that with the way he has been, can't form a complete sentence, can't stand straight, and that just debate he had against Trump was just horrible, I, I feel like he should be dropping out. I, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, so I'm, I'm very glad to see him not running again. But he did give his endorsement to Kamala for their uh, Democratic presidential candidate. And she accepted it, supposedly. And now I guess it's up to the DNC to figure out what they're going to do. Honestly, I did see it coming. I had a feeling he was going to drop out um, willingly or forcefully. I did not think that he was actually going to run again. And if he did, I probably would have been very surprised honestly but political rant over I saved it for the end of the video let's go ahead and come over here to this rest area and then we will end the video there and pick it up in another one all right so looks like it is over here 
We got that and fuel, but I think we're good on fuel for right now. Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and explore the fuel center here because I know that's a big part of this. There we go. And then we have to go explore that uh, center over there. Which doesn't really make any sense. I don't see why we have to step foot on that property in order to view it. But I guess it is what it is, man. Like, I can clearly see it. There we go. Don't mind what we just did. Do not do not do whatever what we just did. That is just for sake of this video. Alrighty, guys. We'll go ahead and back this into the spot here. I think... I think this is a good spot for us to park in. I don't know. Because I'm not sure what will trigger it and what will not trigger it. Alright. I think we're good. Oh, yeah. We're good. Alright. Alrighty, guys. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. We'll go ahead and pick this up in another episode like I mentioned. And that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. Take care, everyone.